All right, so the MCU Phases 5 and a little bit of 6 were just announced last weekend at San Diego Comic-Con. I know I'm late to making a video about it, but uh, instead of doing your typical movie news, just talking about each title, I figured I'd actually do a ranking for all the movies and TV shows in order of my excitement. So I'll be starting at 15 because there's 15 announced. This does not include the animated titles like What If Season 2 and Marvel Zombies and Spider-Man uh, Freshman Year. But it will include all the live action films and TV shows coming out over the next handful of years pretty much. I think maybe until 2025. So maybe like three-ish years. But um, yeah, lots of stuff to talk about here. And I'll be going through the ranking and just kind of talking about each title a little bit to give you my opinion on it and why I put it where it is. So, uh, yeah, let's not waste any time, and let's get with number 15. This is the one I'm least excited for, and that is Agatha, Coven of Chaos. It was originally called House of Harkness, and I will say I like the, uh, the title Coven of Chaos a little bit more. That being said, I didn't think Agatha was the strongest villain for any of the MCU. Strongest villain in any of the TV shows or movies for that matter. So I'm not super excited for this, but obviously I will still be watching it. Um, yeah, we'll really have to wait and see what's up with that. I actually have a theory and spoiler alert for Multiverse of Madness that um, I don't think Scarlet Witch is dead, but I do think whatever she did to herself at the end of that movie somehow unbreaks the spell that she put on Agatha. So Maybe we'll be getting a little more backstory on her, but also see her in the real world. Maybe that'll be the opening of it, seeing her coming out of the spell in the beginning or seeing her coming out of the spell at the end. I think that would be kind of neat. Um, also, I think Mephisto could be something that they're trying to set up with her because that's a big, a big character that comes along with her character. So at 14, I have Ironheart, who we are actually going to be seeing in Black Panther Wakanda forever. And this is mainly at 14, just because I don't quite know what to expect with this film. Maybe after Wakanda Forever, I'll be a little more excited for her character. I'm sure I will be after that point. But as for right now, I just don't know enough about it. I know she's supposed to basically be the next Iron Man who makes her own suit. So all that sounds really cool. But for that reason, I do have to put it at 14. Still excited for it, but just don't know what to expect. And the same goes for number 13, Echo. Uh, we did see her character in Hawkeye, got the poster right there, um, and she is Maya Lopez, The uh, she's a deaf actress, and I really liked her on the show for the most part. Was she the strongest character, strongest villain? Not really, but I am excited to see her going forward and probably be more of an anti-hero, so definitely should be interesting. At number 12, I have Secret Invasion. Now, um... I think this might be a little bit higher up on some other people's list, but for me personally, I don't know the Secret Invasion plotline from the comics too well. I know it has a lot to do with scrolls. I know Samuel L. Jackson will be it. Amelia Clark is going to be in it as well. Ben Mendelsohn coming back as Talos. Still excited for this movie for sure, but uh, the, the scrolls are a little bit different from what they are in the comics. I think the scrolls in the comics, for the most part, are actually evil, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me down in the comments below if I'm wrong. But um, here, they're not as much villains, but I think there could be villainous scrolls in our future as well. Um, so that is very cool. But um, yeah, don't exactly know what to expect from this show, but I do imagine that we're going to be seeing a lot of characters that we know turning out to be scrolls, which I think is very cool. Uh, as for number 11, I have the Marvels. And the only reason this one is so high up on the list, or I guess low on the list, is because I really loved Miss Marvel. Got the poster there. Um, is it the strongest show in the MCU? No. I do think it's my second favorite show next to Loki. But um, yeah, Mon Vellani as Kamala Khan slash Miss Marvel, I think is an amazing uh, addition to the MCU. And I cannot wait to see her in this movie. Ever since I saw the finale for Miss Marvel, I was like, oh my god, I cannot wait for this movie. So, I'm excited for it. Maybe not as much as some other films and TV shows on here, but still excited nonetheless. Um, as for number 10, I have Blade. Now, I've never watched the original Blade movies, so I don't know a whole lot about the character. But I do know that the actor in it, uh, what's his name again? Shoot. Oh, no. I don't know if I can remember his name at the moment. 
man, he's a really good actor too. Mahershala Ali. That's it. I knew I'd, I knew I'd remember it. Um, I'm excited to see him in that role. He was already kind of in a, maybe not an MCU project. It's a little, it's a little hazy. He was in Luke Cage. I forget exactly the name of his character, but his villain in that show is fantastic. So I'm very excited to see him as Blade in his own movie. He did show up in the uh, end credit scene of Eternals, but we didn't see his face, only heard his voice. So uh, it'll be really cool to see Mahershala Ali as this character going forward. And maybe, just maybe, this will be a rated R movie, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, at number nine, I have the Thunderbolts, which I almost wanted to put a little higher up on the list. Um, but everything that comes after this is just something I'm so excited for just because of the implications and the possibilities of, of what comes next. But the Thunderbolts, I think, is going to be a really cool team. Um, I'm sure we're going to get John Walker, a.k.a. U.S. agent in the show. Uh, Abomination, Emil Blonsky. Um, possibly Elena Belova. Who else could be in there? Um, that's kind of all I have at the moment in terms of like theories on who could be on the team. But I'm still excited for it. Maybe not as excited as some of these other movies. But it's hard to rank some of these because I'm equally excited for a lot of these. But... I mean, the top three are the ones that I'm like, uh, I have to put these in the top three, so. But, uh, yeah, Thunderbolts, very excited for that, and I wouldn't say I'm surprised it's a movie, but I'm happy it's a movie because things like that, like more, maybe not original, uh, you know, stories and concepts and characters and whatnot, but it's something we haven't seen before, so it's something I'm definitely excited for, but also don't really know what to make of it quite yet. Um, it'll basically be like a Dark, Dark Avengers movie, so that'll be cool. Uh, at number eight, I have Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, the first movie to kick off Phase 5, and um, there's a lot of juicy stuff that's going to be in this movie. I have a feeling, like, one of my theories right now is that Loki could show up because... Kang is going to be the villain, and we saw Kang running, running the TVA at the end of Loki Season 2, and so that means that we could uh, we could possibly see the Loki. Um, you know, I mean, it would make sense. I also heard that Bill Murray is supposed to be in the movie, not sure which character. Also heard that possibly Corey Stoll might be coming back. Um, you know, the villain from the first movie, he might be coming back as MODOK. So that would be very cool. Um, I like Modoc as a character, so I think it would be really cool to see him do that. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool surprises that I think will be in this movie. So definitely looking forward to it. Uh, as for number seven, I have Daredevil Born Again. I have watched the first two seasons of Daredevil on Netflix. Well, it was on Netflix. It's on Disney Plus now. But um, I did like that show. I think it was probably my favorite show out of all of them that I watched. They were all, eh, for the most part, pretty decent, but I kind of fell off and got annoyed with some of them just because the tones were so similar. But this show is supposed to be 18 episodes, and um, I'm both excited and a little nervous for this. I definitely want to finish season three of Daredevil from Netflix um, in case like it's it actually connects, um, which, I mean, I don't really want to have to go and finish all the other Marvel shows, but I will if I have to, if it's all connected. But, um, yeah, definitely excited for this show. Vincent D'Onofrio and Charlie Cox are returning as their respected characters. So, uh, this show should be really cool. I do think we're going to see Daredevil more, more times before his show actually comes out. So, a little nervous because of the whole 18 episode thing, but we'll really have to see what Disney and Marvel does with this one. Hopefully it turns out good. I think it will. Uh, as for number six, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, I heard this movie is supposed to be very emotional, and we might lose some Guardians in here. It's supposed to be aimed more towards Rocket as a character, which honestly, I think as a character, we haven't really seen a whole lot from Rocket. We haven't really had his backstory or anything like that. Also, we're supposed to see the High Evolutionary in here, Adam Warlock, um, and possibly some other surprises as well. I love the Guardians. I can't wait to see this movie and see how James Gunn kind of concludes this trilogy. I'm sure we're going to have some of the OG members going forward, but we might lose a few. So this is definitely going to be a big Marvel movie to watch. 
Um, as for number five, I have Loki season two. As I said before, it's my favorite show, my favorite Marvel show that has come out on Disney Plus so far. So I am very much excited for this season. Um, yeah, I mean, I feel like there's definitely a lot of shows, a lot of Marvel Disney Plus shows that deserve a second season. I think Miss Marvel deserves a second season. I hope they get that. I think Moon Knight definitely needs a second season. But um, if I had to choose to get a second season for only one show, it would definitely be Loki. Uh, the first season really gave me a lot of Doctor Who vibes, and that's a show I really grew up liking a lot. So, And also Tom Hiddleston as Loki is one of my favorite characters. I also love Sylvie. I think she was a great introduction in the first season. Mobius, played by Owen Wilson. Lots of really great characters and concepts and things that they can do. So for that reason, Loki season two is at number five. As for number four, I have Captain America New World Order. Obviously, this time it won't be Chris Evans as Captain America Steve Rogers in this film. It will be Sam Wilson Falcon, played by uh, uh, Anthony Mackie. Hoping that we will see Sebastian Stan as Winter Soldier slash Bucky Barnes in this movie. I'm sure we will, but in terms of the plot of this film, I have no idea what's going to happen. New World Order, like... We'll see what it is. I'm sure there's going to be some political elements to it because there were a lot of political elements in the first season or the the series in general. I wouldn't say a lot of political elements, but definitely in that last episode, they got a little preachy. So I hope they don't go overboard in uh, in this one. At first, when I saw that finale and he's like, just do better. I'm like, yeah, just do better. But after I think about it, I'm just like, that sounds like it's just coming from a guy who's like never been in politics before. He's just like, just do better. Just do it. Come on. But I'm um, still excited to see Sam Wilson as Captain America. I think this movie will be very cool. And I uh, can't believe we're getting another Captain America movie. I mean, it was already kind of announced a while back that they would be making another one. But uh, just hearing about the news and hearing that it's actually going to be in Phase 5. Cannot wait. Uh, for 3, funny enough, it's at 3 and not 4. It is Fantastic 4. Um, just because of the track record with Fantastic Four movies, I'm a little nervous with this one, but at the same time, I cannot wait to see who they cast, what story they do. It sounds like they might possibly not even do an origin movie, so I don't know 100% how I feel about that. If you ask a bunch of people and they say, and you ask them like, oh, what's Spider-Man's origin? And I'm kind of taking this from 3C Films, Chris Parker, sorry about that, but I like his analogy. Um... If you ask a bunch of people what Spider-Man's origin, they'll say Uncle Ben dying. If uh, if you ask a bunch of people Batman's origin, you'll say his parents died in the alleyway. If you ask a bunch of people how the Fantastic Four died, or died? <laughs> if you ask a bunch of people how the Fantastic Four got their powers, you'd get a lot of different answers for sure. Because there's been a lot of different portrayals of how they got their powers. So it's kind of up in the air. We'll see what this movie is when it comes out. I can't wait to see the cast. Maybe it'll be announced at D23, which I'll talk about a little bit at the end here. But um, yeah, can't wait for Fantastic Four in the MCU. Uh, as for my number two spot, obviously we got the Avengers movies in the in two and one, because how could I not? I Honestly, I had a feeling we'd get more Avengers movies in the future, but I didn't think we'd get them so soon. So the fact that we're getting two pretty much back to back in the same year. Oh my God, I can't believe it. But at number two, I have Avengers the Kang Dynasty. I didn't know which one to put in first, but I had to go with Secret Wars in first, obviously. Uh, but Kang Dynasty and Secret Wars, I'm both equally excited for. Uh, I do think that Doctor Doom is going to be play a big part in Phases 5 and 6. So I think Secret Wars will have a lot of him in there. And also, there's like a lot of multiverse stuff they can do with Secret Wars. Bring in Miles Morales. They could do all sorts of stuff in that movie, so... Um, waiting to see who like the official team will be for the Avengers for these next two movies that are that we're going to be getting. Um, I'm sure like Captain America will be on there. Um, maybe Doctor Strange. Who else could be on there? Hulk, She-Hulk, Hawkeye, maybe. Although I feel like at this point, Hawkeye is just like, can I just chill with my family finally, please? Um, yeah, Hawkeye needs a break for sure. But uh, I would love to see a younger Avengers movie, so... I mean, you got a bunch of people already kind of set up for it. Kamala Khan, Kate Bishop, all sorts of people that you could have in that. So hopefully that's something they have planned for the future. Maybe we will be seeing some of those young Avengers in these movies. But um, 
yeah, I mean, I think Secret Wars I'm a little more excited for, and that's why I have it in number one, is just because the implications of what they can do with that, with the whole multiverse thing, because Kevin Feige did announce that before we were in the Infinity Saga, but through this phase onward, and pretty much until maybe phase six, we are in the multiverse saga, so that can bring in a lot of different characters from a lot of different multiverses and universes and all sorts of stuff, man. I cannot wait, but Kang Dynasty I'm also excited for. I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more of Kang throughout the uh, these next two phases, not only in the movies that he's already you know planning to be in, Ant-Man and the Wasp and Qu Kang Dynasty, obviously. I do think we are going to be seeing some of these villains pop up, kind of like Thanos did, and uh, we might even have more than one big bad towards the end here. So, like I said, with Kang and Doom, I think those could be the next two big bads of you know, phases five and six going forward. I think it could be like Galactus, uh, but we'll save that for another day. But yeah, there's my ranking for all the MCU live action films and TV shows in order of my excitement. I would love to see your guys' list down below. Um, tell me what movie or show you're most excited for. And uh, also give me some theories on what you think, what else uh, might be in, in phase six. I definitely have some theories like uh, Ghost Rider, I think might be in there. I have a feeling we'll get something to do with the X-Men. I'm not 100% sure what that would be. Maybe Deadpool 3. Um, we'll really have to wait and see what else they have there. I, I know there was also the Armor War series with uh, with War Machine that they were trying to do. So I imagine we'll probably get that in Phase 6. But uh, yeah, that's my ranking. And I also wanted to talk about D23 a bit. I think that's on September 9th, 9th through 11th. So I will basically be making this video again around that time but with the added tv shows and movies from phase six that they will be most likely announcing at d23 they had to save some stuff for that so i get it we honestly didn't think we were going to get any announcements from san diego comic-con that's kind of what we heard going into it and then they're like hey let's uh kevin foggy comes on stage he's like hey let's talk about fi uh phases five and six how about that and <laughs> Obviously, the fans were freaking out. I was watching the audience reactions and stuff like that. It looked like a lot of fun. I hope I can go someday and watch a Marvel panel at uh, Hall H. I think that would be really dope. But, um, yeah, I think that's all I have for this video. This has been a lot longer of a video than I thought it would be. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Comment down below. Tell me what your ranking is in terms of excitement for phases five and six are what we have announced so far and uh hit that subscribe button hit the notifications bell so you never miss an upload next week i should be back with my review for bullet train and uh i don't know what else comes out next week but i'm sure i'll i'll find some other stuff to talk about as well so thank you guys so much for watching once again and i will see you in the next one